Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. High temperatures this afternoon were hot, upper 90s to even 100 in Red Bluff. What a one this afternoon's high temperature in Redding. 86 in Chester, 95 in Paradise, 90 the afternoon high temperature in Quincy. And well, this weekend is going to be cooler, but not dramatically so. Plan on yeah, pretty toasty weather this weekend. Temperatures do cool down pretty quickly in the evening, though. We've got a lot of high school football games tonight, and for kickoff time, temperatures should be down to the low 90s as we uh, kick off most of those games in the valley. Halftime, temperatures in the upper 80s. Fourth quarter, temperatures in the middle 80s. So, yeah, seasonably hot out there for a little football out there tonight. As far as our Saturday goes, well, it starts off nice and comfortable in the morning. You can go out to the farmer's market or something like that. Pretty comfortable, 68 degrees. Noontime, 85. By the afternoon, starting to get toasty in the middle and maybe upper 90s, so a little bit cooler tomorrow. You got this whole chunk of time here. If you got to do some outdoor chores or maybe go on a bike ride or something like that, where the uh, temperatures are pretty nice, and then by the afternoon, I mean, you just want to cool your heels in the pool or the lake or something like that as it starts to get a little warm again by the afternoon. At least these September nights do cool down rather quickly, and that's nice. But the afternoon still can be warm. That's what we have this weekend. Much cooler weather coming our way next week. Skies are hazy everywhere. It will be locally smoky again, naturally, near the Delta Fire. All right, the visible satellite image, uh, you can see a little bit of smoke there from the Delta Fire, and then we see the high clouds from a little uh, band of high clouds out in the Pacific, kind of obscure it, so you can't see a whole lot from the Delta Fire. You can see smoke here from the Ranch Fire, still coming on out. That's still a thing, apparently, and still putting out some smoke into the valley. As far as what we have coming our way tomorrow, well, locally smoky skies. Air quality right now in Mount Shasta City and in Dunsmuir is in the hazardous range. You should try to avoid being outdoors if you can, because the air quality, on the AQI, it's up there over 400, which I try to remember last time I saw something that high. It's been a long time. 90 in Weaverville and Hayfork, air quality a lot better there. Uh, 85 in Wairika tomorrow, air quality in Wairika in the unhealthy range, which is actually better than what we have in Mount Shasta City and Dunsmuir. High temperatures tomorrow in the Sierra and the Cascades, middle and upper 80s. Hazy sunshine, air quality here in the moderate range, not too bad. In the Sierra, on the ridge rather, high temperatures tomorrow in the low 90s and uh, 92 tomorrow in Paradise. In the north end of the valley, locally smoky naturally around Redding, air quality here in the unhealthy range, so you should try to limit your outdoor activities. That'll continue again tomorrow. Uh, air quality tomorrow in the uh, Tehama County area, only in the moderate range, not doing too bad, even though it looks kind of murky out there. In the mid-valley, overnight lows anywhere from the mid to upper 50s or even low 60s. Tomorrow, the, air, uh, the high temperature is rather lower and middle 90s. Hazy sunshine. Our air quality continues to run in the moderate range. All right, finally, your Storm Tracker 7-day forecast. Well, the weekend is always in view. Keeping high temperatures in the mid-90s through Monday and then cooling down to the low 80s by later on next week. Very nice. Reading's forecast hot for the next few days. And then it does cool down a bunch after that. So if we've got hot weather coming our way, well, maybe you're thinking about doing a little boating or so. Our uh, summer safety tip from Enlo today is talking about boating. And first one's pretty obvious. Don't drink and boat. It speaks for itself. Uh, tell someone where you're going and when you'll be back. And uh, this one also seems fairly obvious. Don't carry more passengers than the boat's capacity. Uh, you know, otherwise, you sink the thing. Uh, if you uh, want more summer safety tips, enlo.org slash summer safety. Chris, I'm a television news anchor. Yes, you are. None of those are obvious to a whole lot of people. <laughs> we know that. All right, fair. Yeah. Well said. Well said. We do stories on that. All right. What is obvious is it's under the lights night yep. tonight, and Lee's joining us.